Hello everyone, it's Gummy here, and welcome to the second co-op developer commentary. And I already had to re-record this part because my mic was too low, despite me doing like five test videos. Wow, anyway. So yeah, this is finally developer commentary on second co-op. Now, second co-op is a mod that I made um, about six or so years ago. Um, yeah, from like 2011, I think like December 31st, 2011 literally is when I started this mess. So this is the hub world where you can um, enable your difficulty selection, you can do the training map, which doesn't work of course, because why would it? It's quality, you know, toggle cutscenes, which you will, and uh, this uh, is when you're ready to go on your quest. Now, uh, you can sit back and watch if you want. Just make sure I'm recording. Anyway. Bro, oh, please. Learn how to use melee weapons. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. I guess I forgot what I was doing here. Yeah, this is the, uh, intro cuts. You know, these characters appear in the game because, um, yeah. Doing this for uh, six years um, tends to make it. You cut a lot of content, change a lot of content around, stuff like that. But yeah, so the point of this is a is that second co-op is a Mega Man 8-bit deathmatch, Mega Wad, um, single player and co-op online with your friends. I don't know why you do that, but anyway, um, and it's making fun of other mods. So you know other. Products in the Mega Man 8 Deathmatch lineup, I guess. Secret. Anyway. Sorry, anyway. So. The gimmick, the, um, you know, map this is referencing is, um, CSCM, which is the community map pack, which is made of, um, deathmatch maps. I know in, um, some Doom Circles that, um, community maps generally, um, co-op maps, but not this case, um, yeah. Except this one, ironically, because the whole point and the whole joke, I guess that goes on with people's heads, is that, um, unless I check the readme file, of course, um, each part of this map is made by a different person. The first part with the Burst Man part, the purple evil part was made by me, this one's made by Galaxy. And uh, yeah, I just literally solicited, um, solicited maps from people on Skype, because Discord didn't exist yet. Wow, anyway. Yeah, so these mats, um, they take one hit and then they close back up again, so using a Ripper weapon or an explosive weapon or... You know, anything that isn't like just a direct hit weapon will um will not really work that well on them. So there you go. And try and speed this up a bit, so yeah. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, this makes fun of all sorts of mods, you know, obscure ones, bad ones, good ones, it does it all, so yeah. Are we gonna kill the enemy? And uh, here's your first weapon coming up over here. This part's made by Muzuru, dedicated to the lovely, always amazing human being known as Omega Zero X. Thank you for existing. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you're wondering about, um, yeah, this is based on the OZX pack, which is another map based on the OZX pack. And to be honest, this is kind of, um, despite the warning that didn't actually play for you in the beginning, but if you um, play yourself, you'll see. Um, this is sort of representative, at least I think, of all these maps. All their flaws, all their quirks, all their, you know, their existence. Especially, um, a certain map, um, the 23rd map, because there's 25 maps, actually, and there's five seed maps, so, anyway. Yeah, but, uh, we're far ways away from the endless torment that is map 23, but you will see that soon enough. Actually thinking, should I, eight, because, actually, wait. Yeah, it's map 25, yeah, map 25 is the other stupid one. That map, map, okay, map 23 literally takes 30 minutes or, or so to beat. 
up to warp woods to an hour if you just don't know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> which I guess why this walkthrough is here. Anyway. Yeah, and the final map, map 25, takes about an hour to beat, start to finish. Again, even if you know what you're doing. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna have a lot of uh, fun, lengthy maps here. Like, apparently the last video that I did of this, my last recording, ow, um, was 30 minutes long, so <laughs> we're, we're gonna be in for a ride here, folks. Anyway, I want you to memorize this map. You'll be uh, quizzed on it in class starting in a few minutes here. So, you know, study up because there's a 3D floor. Anyway, but study up, kids, and here's some tellies. So, yeah, these are just reskin lost souls. So, you know, if you play Doom 2, they're literally reskin lost souls. Wow. Very uh, exciting and new. Oh, I miss a flame blast. I'm not. This is actually, despite being developer commentary, so I just walk this, I'm gonna be like really robust. Um, but you probably should be, but yeah. I'm gonna go in this hole. And I'm just in secret. Cuz, of course, welcome to the same map again. <laughs> yeah. Also, remember to jump up here. Cause, um, hitting the floor is bad, you'll explode. Anyway. And if you go over in here, in this hole, ow. You get to enter the duck factory and change to Dark Sea 2 music, cause um yeah. So we just had this around. Yeah, see? Tell not as bad. And you can respawn right away, which is something that, you know, not a lot of regular single player wads do. They usually have you um Sorry, they usually have you save manually, but actually in the most recent version of Manual for Death Mess, I took away the save menu option because it kept confusing some people. Due to some autosave shenanery, but yeah. The game does autosave as well, so there's that. So, yep, yeah, same stuff, just with added features like floor wobble. Wow, well, let's say floor waggle. Bead would know. Bead is, you know, an excellent person, I promise. Yeah, well, let's not get into Bead anyway. Oh, yeah, I forgot this, this map part was made by Bendez, aka Blue Brawl, aka he, he does not finish his maps. You can finish this one, though. Yeah. And the uh, last Shade Man, Star Man section is made by me, so there you go. So yeah, this is meant to be a joke, it's not meant to be really taken that seriously or as a reflection of anything, but uh, I say I did a pretty good job capturing the intimate elements of um, bad mapping and stuff like that, and bad modding and bad coding. You can tell because I have badly done code. I think, no, I think Map 3, Map 3 is special actually. I'm kind of glad I had to re record this because I did forget something to say something, which I'll probably continue to forget. Why well, the audio bounce be off in the other direction? Anyway. So, um, yeah, again, this was started about six years ago, and I'll explain more when I get to, um, finished with this map because, um, of course, the third map is the map that started it all. This isn't actually the first map that I made, this is just the first map that I, um... Actually, the second map, technically, that will mean multiple people made. There's Flame Blast, if you missed it in the first map. This is a card face job. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot about that. Oh. And I have to restart that whole section again! I, I, I entirely forgot about that, oh my god. But yeah, that's a secret. Um, if you do SR50, which is a weird tack sort of deal thing, um, you uh, have to, uh, you die. Um, I legit have to do that all over again. I would load, but, um, yeah. I actually think it, I mean, the obviously didn't save. Whoops, anyway. Yeah, SR50 lets you go slightly faster, like, very, very slightly faster. And, uh, yeah, the creator of CSTM put a check in here where you can enable the server option to, um, kick or ban players for using, um, SR50. And, yeah, that's the only reason I went back and edited this map after, like, six years. The one reason was that. Not for quality control, not to, you know, update the enemies, make the level more exciting, redo everything, no. 
because some guy did something stupid on the internet. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't get lost in the maze, kids! Anyway, so yeah, we have to redo that all again because you used SR50, you loser. Anyway. Gonna beef up that recording time. Ugh. I really do hope I was able to, um, cut out some of the intro stuff because I don't have to edit this video later. Anyway, point being. Yeah, here's the uh, wonderful section over here. With the ever changing textures, you gotta keep it unique, right? And yeah, there's the uh, checkpoints. I don't know if I just explained that or not. But um, yeah, if you die, um, you respawn in the checkpoint. Simple as that. So now, if I die now, which means, you know, if I died, if you exit in the future, um, yeah, you respawn right here. So, you know. Nice noises, right? Anyway. So, now... I'm seeing all weird and loudly because I want to be part of the micro anyway. So, yeah, this is the, uh, TC. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, right, I forgot. I, uh, sort of glitched this up a bit. Um, yeah, there's a... There's a pretty short of the other maps. Um, not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. I mean, guess what that is? In the comments below, you'll win nothing, but you'll boost my algorithms. Wow. Except not really, because, um, you know, I don't have Thousand Degree Knife meme compilations. So, yeah, anyway. Else these walls over here will kill you if you run into them. Don't do that. Wow. And now, welcome to the map that started it all. Welcome to the IX pack. Please wait while we generate your map. Underwater. Lava. Train. And this is a copy paste of Charge Man's map from 2011, so if you're wondering what 2011 Charge Man looks like, it looks like this. Textures and everything, I swear. Anyway. Yeah, Buster Speed is slowed down in this because um, I can't figure out paste paste. But also, it's encouraged you to use your special weapons. Like this one. You press the use key on the Mac here. And, uh, yeah, yeah, goody. Anyway. They're actually, um, oh, jeez. Don't want to do that. And also touching that wall will kill you. Don't do that. Don't touch lava. It bad. Anyway. Um, there are some good secret weapons in this map, by the way, just so. Well, there's two good secret weapons, which, you know, is still good to, uh, get. Especially the one in the, uh, later part of the stage. Yeah, so there are 25 maps in total, there's a final boss map, and then there are five secret maps that are available as well. And that'll be done in its own separate video, so that's not going to be in this video. I'll show you how to get them, um, if I remember. Um, I might actually even secretly trigger some of the secrets here, or accidentally trigger some of the secrets, like, um, because this is sort of used to the way of doing this, except for one map. Ugh. I kind of wish it was sort of a full playthrough because some of these maps are just ridiculous. Like, really, just really, really obtuse and ridiculous. So, oh yeah. There's a secret right there. You shoot uh, Twilight Sparkle, and uh, yeah, you get access to uh, Pony Killing Simulator 2018. But you cannot do this if any of these snakies are dead. So, if you do this, you will not be able to kill Twilight Sparkle, unfortunately. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, this whole thing started over Ix Pack. Ix Pack was a map pack done by Ivory and Mr. X, sort of a, um, because Mr. X lived in the community, he wanted someone to look after his quality maps, so he, uh, must with Ivory, who was another big name mapper at the time, okay, really the only mapper at the time, other than the legendary OZX, of course. Um, that opens up that. And there's a failsafe if, um, you're online, and, you know, stuff glitches, but yeah. But if we, like... 30 seconds after that, it'll automatically, um... It'll automatically progress. Anyway. Ah! And now to restart that all over again. This is gonna be wonderful, isn't it? Well, the good thing about, um... Respawning is that it does preserve, um... 
all the stuff that you did. So, you know, you have all your weapons still, and the enemies are gone, so... Makes it a bit easier to get back into it, and also makes it easier for our co-op stuff to happen. Anyway, I was saying, oh yeah, I X pack. So yeah, when that map pack came out, it was pretty popular. Really, one more popular map pack. So I hated it. I absolutely hated that map pack so much so that I made this. This this is this, this is literally what happened, right? So <laughs> I was so angry at the quality of a map pack and how low quality it is that, um, in my opinion, at least. Um, that, oh, this is bad as well, anyway, so, I was so mad that I made this, and then spent six to seven years of my life doing this because of one map pack, right, and then the general thing that pissed me off about it was that sort of what actually is happening here, where it's just like, you know, random words being generated, like there was some weird, like, jungle raceway love, which doesn't sound too bad, but like, you, to me it was just really random, like, that, that's just like, for all like the few maps that we've had, and I, um, many visit, many, many pizza fans so far, like just jungle raceway is just really weird in a way. I don't know. I mean, maybe I was just being stupid at the time. Well, but yes, I'm stupid all the time. Anyway, I'm not being able to eat that. Mega pellet! Wow. Anyway, I don't like call mega pellets, whatever. So yeah, and mind you, I hosted best maps ever, which hosted like the worst of the worst maps. Also, fell in this pit. You get Cutman, the deadly Cutsman, who we'll see later. So yeah, it just felt like it was random pulled out of a hat stuff. Um, layouts were bad. Um, like just random death pits everywhere. Um, but yeah, here's our uh, gravity wave bikes. Alright, Gravity Wave Castle, of course. I don't want to get my own map names wrong. But yeah, and it was the best maps ever, which is just the worst of the worst maps ever, like OZX Beck. Except, you know, obviously he's the best of the best, not worst of the worst, so you know, my mistake. Um, and that didn't piss me off to make that, it doesn't inspire me, because I made Copy Robot make his own thing. Which, you know, confusing, but whatever, he also named best maps ever. But yeah. After all these years, it's the six long years, I can still do this first try. But yeah, you will struggle a lot with this, actually. This isn't exactly an easy section, but basically the gist of it is that there are the two orbs there. If um, you shoot an orb, a blue orb, the gravity returns to normal. If you shoot a pink orb, it'll change to blue. But if you shoot a pink orb, it'll... Um... No, wait. If you shoot a pink orb, if you shoot a... <laughs> I'm confused. Everything sucks. Like this. Super suction action. Anyway. Checkpoint and you uh, shoot these fanjies. But yeah. If you shoot a pink orb, the gravity will go back to normal. If you shoot a blue orb, it'll turn pink and it'll turn the gravity low where you can, you know, jump up and stick to the ceiling and stuff. Anyway. And yeah, so if you're crashing a wall, you have to redo that section again. I, I originally made it instant death, but uh, I wasn't that mean, especially since that was um right up by the um the checkpoint. So yeah, you can technically do this without killing the fan fiends, but why would you? Like it's next to impossible. Also, seizure warning, etc. etc. You probably know by now. So I can go into Airman's Dank Grave. Wow. And 3, 2, 1, sickness. Yeah. Now I'll just say at the moment. Um, but yeah, again, it's over 6 months here. 25 maps, 5 secret maps. Um, And, uh, yeah. There's some spinning space rings for you. Now, this is where a uh, rolling cutter comes really handy, because, uh, just easily, like, almost instant kill the enemies if you're in range, of course. And this is a true ivory map, because, of course, um, there's just bottomless death pits everywhere. In places where they don't belong. 
hint, hint, anyway. Actually, yeah, that was part of the reference to the cut man glitch, too. If you knew your IX pack, you would know that, uh, the random pits, you should obviously go to every random pit ever. And, and, you know, if you're just not entering it properly. Anyway. Yeah, quick look at these guys. And you don't normally get rolling cutter until episode, or map 14, sorry. About map 14 or so. So it is good to have it this early. Like a whole 10 plus maps early, so. Yeah. I think it was 14. Yeah. Maybe, I don't even know. I don't remember. But finally, you're at the end of this wonderful map. Divide by zero. The next map is really short, so. Is that? Yeah, here's your uh, random meme for the day. Yeah, sound effects there. Yeah. It is just sort of just random do what I want wad, so yeah. Always you stay here long enough, you will get healed up fully. I'll uh, put that in, yeah, like right there. You'll say, I'll go all the way back up. I put that in so, you know, I was going to get crushed all the way over here. Yeah, into the portals of the nether world. Eventually. And uh, here's old Blue Brawls in that pack. No see static uh, Black Band textures. As in, you know, one anime not going in textures. Here's our lovely leader, Kim Jong Hoon. <laughs> nice texture stretching, me. Anyway. Yeah. And this is another one <laughs> that added the map just for this. Just added the map just to put Kim Jong Hoon in the skybox. Why? Because, um,. I remember, um, Mendez was in a uh, Discord chat and he was worrying about, um, the North Korean nuclear program and stuff like that, and, and uh, and I said, oh, well, what's gonna happen first? Are the North Koreans gonna get a nuke or are you gonna finally finish AMP 2? So, you know, again, that's the only reason why I update maps is to, uh, mock, mock people more, not for quality control, quality assurance, anything like that, nah. No, that, that's that's just too much work. Testing, making the map easier, making that more enjoyable. Nah, this is actually really a accurate representation of early amp though. Like, it's changed so much out since the beginning, but um, yeah, just the random um, Cladman textures. Um, the music even actually, because Blue Bar was originally a tester for this because we did some of the map for ZSCM, but. Um, yeah, he, um, he said, oh, he's going to use this song on my maps, because that's all, this is all the songs he uses, Spider X stuff. But, uh, you know, this music isn't everyone's cup of tea, I know, but don't worry, there'll be better music later, I promise. Wow. Yeah, after you, uh, you guys actually kill these, but it's a platform with, uh, them over there, but if you, wait a few seconds, before you stop on there, you're going to be called to, uh, Hope in case you fall into a pit. Like that. There's a checkpoint. Let me go in case you didn't get it before. And uh, skull switches you usually just shoot, so. Here's another sick reference, bro. Um, yeah, he originally had a really sort of medium-sized map, it wasn't bad in size though. I said, oh no, this is too big, so he just slid into two smaller maps. <laughs> Instead of, you know, doing anything, you know, neat to it, or, you know, editing it. No, he just split into two maps, who cares? Anyway, so you're gonna appear. Here's the, uh, ever great Super Wave Man with, um, stuff that's banned from YouTube. Yeah, this is family safe. There's like three references in one. Three references for the price of one. That like no one will get. Actually. Cause I remember I was missing some secrets, so it was one I I still am. Let me just see if there's an accessible move on. Anyway. Here's a Myrock snap. Myrock approved. Anyway. Yeah. You navigate to see your bats. You, um, 
navigate the video size being dramatically increased. And this gimmick is um, RoboEnzo, even though there's a RoboEnzo map later on, but this one, um... These are Thunder Lords, um... Ow. Yeah, I watched too much Shelly, haha, uh -huh. anyway. Yeah, they stun you. Don't you, don't, uh, let them stun you. It's bad, anyway. Yeah, so the whole parody is that My Rock hates, um... Hates uh, Roboenza. We do not like it very much. And uh, yeah, so now there's Roboenza stuff. But, yeah. Simple as that, really. Ow. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm feeling so much this playthrough, but uh, here we are. Come on now. This is the last one. We're almost done with this episode. The next episode will tackle the next episode. So. Yeah, this is actually split up in episodes, even though there's no episodes select, but yeah, this is split up in episodes where it'd be like every five maps is a new episode about, so yeah. So there's going to be a part for, there's going to be a episode one, episode two, um, or part one, part two of this playthrough. So it's part one, part two, obviously, of course, buying the first ten maps. And that should be a part, th yeah, it should be a part three which is the third episode. The fourth episode has two extremely long maps. One of them is legitimately can take up to an hour and long, hour and long, yes, an hour in length to complete. So, there is that. And another one takes around 30, 40 minutes to complete. So, we will have to do those in separate episodes most likely and then hug in another episode where all the um, secret maps. So yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the Mets only lock onto one target at a time, and as soon as you shoot them, they close up. So don't waste, you know, explosive, ripper, or anything or anything like that. Just use straight, you know, shots to kill it. So yeah, shotgun. Anyway, no, not really. So yeah, what else do I want to say? Oh, and some features, some um, some stuff that got cut, or like were ideas that never really got in. Um, so see now you can go up here, get the pill, enter the sector, hit the switch, and then you're uh, free. Anyway, so whether or not, oh yeah, stuff that got cut. Um, oh, good job, me. Anyway, so um, shield face boss. This was a. Uh, in ancient unholy lore, um, there was a class, in unholy classes, that was um, had a special name and a proper name actually. Ow. Anyway, I called I, I called him shield face. It was probably called something else actually, legitimately. But yeah, imagine being able to just have a shielded class I can't actually see. Just uh, imagine that, and uh, yeah. Now we're warping. Ooh. But yeah, there's that. There was um, some sort of weird jungle band boss I don't even remember. Um, what I was gonna do with? Yeah, there's gonna be a meta map where this was um, making fun of itself, as in, you know, saying, "Cool, I might still do that as a spin-off or an extra bonus episode I still have to make." Here's your exciting story. God, you you freed the good rest maps of them all. But, lol, to evil trolls, they bad, has made it or captured average map packs. Kill them or something. Next time.